Soil Creation Systems, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 546. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of One Community Global. And this is our September 4th, 2023 edition of our weekly progress update. And today I want to talk about soil creation systems and somehow tie that in to everything that you see happening in the background of this video, which is what our organization is open sourcing and free sharing as a pathway to global sustainability. And the reason why I want to talk about soil creation systems is because I'm looking at an article right now that talks about how a new study says that about 59% of all species on earth live in soil. And so this is new research and they're reviewing global biodiversity data and they're saying that this makes the ground the planet's single most biodiverse habitat. And coming from a holistic health background, I know that soil is important because it is the foundation of our food. You know, just as we eat food and those nutrients are used to help build our body, a body that where every cell in our body re, re, uh, replaces itself every seven years and some faster than others. So, uh, but the nutrition that you put in your body is the building blocks of you and the building blocks of what's growing is from the soil. You know, and so right now there we have an issue and there's been documentaries made about it and there's so many resources out there talking about how we have a real problem with the destruction of topsoil right now. And one of the reasons for that comes down to one of the first and most important things that we are open sourcing as an organization, which is, and we call them highest good approaches to food. You know, the, uh, our food systems are currently sprayed with three common poisons. We spray these poisons on our food and it's so bizarre. So pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides. And it's not necessary. Like there's organic food out there and there's food that's being grown without these things, but for commercial production of all of our food, it's helpful to have those things. And so one community is open sourcing the systems that don't require that, that don't require or use pesticides, herbicides, herbicides, or fungicides, and showing how a polyculture, com combination of different plants grown together, and really nurturing the complete ecosystem, and the soil produces healthier plants that have been shown not to be attacked as much by bugs, by fungicides, and uh, by fungus, and not to need those kinds of things, as one example. Now, it's not just about that, so I said I was going to tie it into all the different aspects for our project, and our project is looking at the complete sustainability experience. So when we talk about soil creation systems, we're talking about building teacher demonstration hubs that include all aspects of sustainable living and are designed to teach people the stewardship tools, techniques, tricks, and to provide an environment that is perfect for humanity to take care of not only the soil, but to take care of themselves, each other, and our complete planet. And to do that, we're creating an open source and free shared evolution of sustainability. It takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which include, and we call them highest good approaches, as I already said, to food, I already mentioned, energy, housing, what we call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, education, economics, and stewardship. And putting all these things together as an environment designed to first and foremost nurture, nurture the human being and the human soul, but built on a foundation of nurturing the complete ecosystem by recognizing that we are the keystone species, that we are at the top of the food chain, and we are the only species capable of truly stewarding the entire planet. And so it's up to us if we want to do that. And so these teacher demonstration hubs are designed to do exactly that. And so when I talk about soil creation systems, what we're designing is looking at how do we turn our human waste into 
productive soil? How do we turn our food waste into productive soil? How do we grow system? How do we grow plants that are contributing to the productivity of our soil? And how do we create entire environments that are designed to not only take care of the soil, but to take care of their complete surroundings to steward the entire planet and to build a global network, a global cooperation, a global collaboration of these teacher demonstration hubs working together for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet to reach that tipping point, that critical mass, bringing together people with shared values and interests to create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. And so soil creation systems, how does a culture of personal growth contribute to that? Well, or highest good education contribute to that? Imagine if teaching about the importance of soil creation was a foundation of our education program because we know how important soil is and that it contributes so much to our own personal health and to the health and longevity of our ecosystem as a whole, our one shared planet as a whole. What if we included that as a foundation, as a pillar of our educational program? It is. You know, what if we included soil uh, improvement strategies in our culture of growth and you know, work together to do composting and to be able to enrich the soil and to grow things that we might not be able to buy in the grocery store because they don't have a shelf life. And then making sure that everything that's not used goes back into the soil so that we're constantly replenishing that and stewarding it to be able to rapidly improve the soil in ways that takes nature a long, long time because it doesn't have the same stewardship, you know. And so this is how one community sees ourselves improving not just soil health, not just human health, not just community health, but regional health and global health. Because we see all of these things, the food, the energy, the housing, the fulfilled living, the education, the economics, and stewardship as not only interrelated, but interdependent if the goal is maximizing living experience and creating a world that works for everybody. And so you can say it's apply the same logic to the greatest challenges our generation is experiencing right now, which is climate change, food insecurity, homelessness, lack of energy infrastructure, lack of internet infrastructure, social injustice and inequality, war, poverty, all of these things, again, not just interrelated, but interdependent. You know, any one of these things is a major contributor to the erosion of our culture as a whole. And so we are building solutions to all of them. You know, a good friend of mine, Jack Reed says, the solution to everything is a solution to anything. And that is what we're creating is we want to create a comprehensive solution that addresses all of these things simultaneously, recognizes that they're interdependent, recognizes that we are a part of the ecosystem. It's not separate from us and that we have the ability to steward that and create a world that works for everybody through open source plans like this. And this is what one community is doing. And we're a hundred percent volunteer organization doing it. We're a nonprofit organization, a non-governmental organization. And we're creating this because we see a world that works for everyone within our lifetime. We see ourselves capable through a self-replicating model like this by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own, replicate around the world, achieving that tipping point, that critical mass of sustainability, global sustainability, so that we can touch the lives of every single living person and thing on this planet within our lifetime, within 30 years. You know, and so this is what one community is focused on. This is how we look at soil creation systems as a part of a larger system. And um, yeah, so if you like this sort of thing and you like to receive a weekly dose of positivity in your inbox, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter. Uh, if you would like to see all uh, exactly what our, our all volunteer team accomplished in the last week, visit our written blog. If you'd like to see all the open source content and resources, visit our website. If you like the number one easiest way to help us out, like and subscribe, like this video, subscribe to our channel. And um, of course, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page where you can donate or volunteer, contribute with us in whatever way works best for you. There's a whole bunch of different options there. And um, yeah, with that said, stick around for a couple more minutes, see bullet points on all the major components of our project. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is 
eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The One Community Approach to Highest Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.